ready. What's going on guys and welcome back to some more monster reactions, yeah! <laughs> you guys already know how much I'm enjoying this series even though people on this channel, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, are accusing me of ignoring certain shows or read-throughs. Monster is just not one of those shows guys. <laughs> God knows I'm enjoying watching this. Um, so I put out a video. <laughs> last video well not the last video but i put out a video on sunday was it sunday or monday i think it was yesterday i put out the video monday and see even today monster was supposed to come out yesterday but it's going to be late and come out probably wednesday or later tonight right and this is what happens with my schedule guys i got other things that i gotta do stuff come up and i just don't get to do stuff right so you know one person seems like a, a seems like a couple of people agreed with what he had to say you know about me ignoring the mango read but it's really not ignoring to be honest it's just that i really do have to prepare myself when i'm doing read -throughs. other than that i've also been been not very well you guys have known because i've shared all of this with you guys where i was you know i couldn't sleep for like for almost a whole week i couldn't i wasn't sleeping properly had to go see the doctor all of that stuff right other than that you know i tweaked my back last weekend was it last weekend no week before last weekend right so i had to recuperate from that re-aggravated it again by doing something stupid you get what i'm saying and had to cancel my streams and stuff like that guys this is not something i want to do i wish i could just go straight and just be on schedule every time every time every time i wish i could do that i know you guys you know what i'm saying i know most most of the people on the channel they're not complaining but to the few that are like why can't he just why can't he just why can't he just um i'm human <laughs> it's the best excuse i can find i'm only human man you know what i'm saying and one of the things that i don't want to do is to burn myself out either so um yes we kind of have a hectic schedule when it comes on to the channel um and i'm trying to do my best to get those things out to you guys as time progresses it has nothing to do with my channel growth or anything of the sort you know what i'm saying because me not doing videos uh, or me not you know doing things on time or whatever it does not affect my views one bit you get what i'm saying like if i put out a video you know back to back to back if i do monster back to back to back to back to back to back every day for a whole week my views would still be around 200 for 200 um views eat for each video every day <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm telling you this because i've done it with other shows before where it's just back to back every day i don't know if you guys remember last year um i was doing um when i took that time off when i took the month off to take care of my girl and stuff like that and i was just grinding out videos having stuff on early access and stuff like that. as a matter of fact i was way ahead i actually finished a couple of seasons of stuff and that's when i had the time you get what i'm saying that's when i had the time to do that but it didn't change the views that i was getting you get what i'm saying because i was uploading more consistently or one show specifically consistently didn't affect it at all so i know for a fact that it doesn't affect my numbers if i'm doing it every day or if i'm doing it just you know what i'm saying sporadically as i do it now so my goal is not to to um to do it sporadically as a matter of fact my goal is to be consistent with the channel it's just that the other things in my life does not allow me to do it that way yet i am not a full-time content creator i have other things that i need to do so that i can still live somewhere and so that i can 
keep, you know, pay my bills and all of this other stuff that I have to do. I have to do those things. And if you guys got to understand, I'm not one of these YouTubers who just sit down, you know what I'm saying? Watch stuff and have thousands of Patreons supporting their life. Like I'm not one of those people. You got to understand that I'm kind of trying to stay away from going that route because I don't want to go that route. I don't want to have to put, um, reactions behind a paywall i don't want to do those things and this is just what comes with it of me trying to grind it out until until i get until the channel gets to a place where it where it's basically supporting itself at least and you know what i'm saying so i can relax a little bit and i can do more with the channel so those are the things i know i'm gonna be talking about this for a while because i do want people to understand that not just because you get four monster episodes a week and none on 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 um on early access that i'm ignoring those parts of the channel i want everything to be running in the way that i want it to run i have plans i have a way of doing things and i want to get there but right now in this time in fashion my health is not a hundred percent and that's not something i usually share with other people not even my mom you get what I'm saying? You guys are getting inside access. I don't tell my mom this stuff because I don't want her to worry. You guys know more about the last couple of weeks of my life than my mom. Knows. My mom do, don't know that I tweet my back. That's only my girl and y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like I have a responsibility to tell you guys that because I don't want you guys to be sitting out. What's going on with Terabyte? Why ain't he uploading no videos? So that's why if anything happens, I make sure I put out a video updating you guys on what's going on and why stuff is not happening the way it's supposed to happen, right? So just want you guys to be aware of that. I know I don't usually talk this much during my intros, but I do want you guys to know that I am aware. I haven't lost interest in anything that I'm reacting to on the channel because I know some of you guys, it's not only Monster that you watch on the channel. So I've not lost interest in anything that I'm watching on the channel. Not JoJo. I haven't done JoJo. I'm giving JoJo a breather because I did, basically I did the first three parts of JoJo straight, pretty much, right? Yes, there were some breaks in between and stuff like that, uh, but I did get through it, right? Um, and it's not that I lost interest in Jojo. It's just that I'm taking a break from Jojo I'll let you guys know when I'm ready to come back to Jojo, right? I'm currently also Recording some other things in the background that Jo the, the, the slot for Jojo has kind of freed that up for me So I can get those series done Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm catching up on Jujutsu Kaisen I know I haven't put it out on the channel yet. I'm planning to drop that bomb very soon God of high school freaking promise neverland all of these series are stuff that i'm taking my time and going through them in my extra time i have an extra half an hour or so i you know what i'm saying react to an episode and just leave it be and save it right um so these are all things that i'm trying to get to the channel all the modern stuff i'm trying to get stuff done um also for the return of my hero academia um so there's a lot of stuff going on that i'm looking forward to on the channel as well yes it's a long intro deal with it anyways for all you monster fans out there you already know what's going on i'm not gonna go over anything that's going on right now let's just jump into the reaction and i will see you guys at the end for the review エヴァ、ハイネマ。ああ、じゃよ。あれだけ落ちぶれても性格だけは当時のまんまだったよ。いや、もっとひどくなってたかな。どこにあれ<笑> 確かあの女と婚約してた。いや、いや。トゥレイト。あ、カモンブロ。もしもし。警察かい。今、あの殺人事件の。おい。え?俺のこと知らないか?は?入り口のコート掛けにかけといて。天間<笑><笑><笑> took that junk. <laughs> Like I'm out this piece. 
I'm out of here. I'm getting lotion. Lotion. Throw this shit on my face. I must be like, what am I watching here? Nigga really putting lotion on? Yeah, and my headphone just broke. I don't even know how or when it broke, but it's broken. Look at this. Shit in my headphone. I don't know when this happened. It must have happened today. I don't know why. But all of a sudden, it's a good thing I just recently bought a new headset because this is just ridiculous. I don't know when my headphone broke, bro. Wow, you're looking like an idiot right now. Take this off. I look a scene, look like a scene right out of the opening, right? Hopefully, Hitman didn't kill him. <笑>おろそうと思いまして。あなたの元婚約者エバーハイネマンは早く。お待たせしました。お呼びしましたが、お出にならないようです。ルームナンバーを。いや、そのファックス名にお送りたいので、ルームナンバーを教えていただけません
今後天満の弁護活動を続けるのかって大騒ぎで一切ノーコメントで通してくれし,しかしこのままじゃマスコミは収まらないですよ<笑>事実関係を一から調査し直した後追って記者会見を開くとでも言っておいてくれそれまで事務所には誰も入れないようにあでも今一人お客様が何だって中に通したのか今日は誰にも会わんぞはあはいそう言ってお断りしたんですけど It's freaking hitman dude ここ Or Johan 一体誰だあ,あはいドイツ連邦捜査局の The BKA えっかあ Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the acronym. Longi Sama. Oh, Lord. Hope Ava is still alive. Gutentag. Isn't it pronounced Gutentag? I, th I didn't know they say it like Gutentag. I thought they say Gutentag. <laughs> it's like how you say hello in German, right? Gutentag. Oh no. Ah. This room's owner. Ah. Ah. This room's owner was coming to visit the guest house. あれここはもうチェックアウトしたんじゃないの<笑> ?That was like, get out the way! <笑>ほらね、もう誰もいないよ。ヘパ。ブラー。ルンゲ警部。天満のこれまでの供述調書などいろいろ調べる中で。あなたの報告書はじっくり見させてもらいましたよ。実に緻密な報告書をね。私も放送界の長寿と呼ばれたあなたの噂は聞いてますよ。バーデマンさん。天満の脱走の方を受けてここにいらしたのでしょうが、あいにくと私の方にはあなたに提供できるような情報は全くありませんよ。脱走か。いえ。実は私もこのところ長い休暇を取ってましてねいわば脱走のようなものだったのかもしれませんね今回の私の長い旅行もあの失礼ですが世間話をしている時間はないのでしかし長い間も仕事の癖なのか行くあてなしの気ままな旅というのがどうにもできないたちでして旅のテーマなどというものを作ってしまうんですな今回の旅のテーマはこの一冊の絵本でしたああ申し訳ない時間がないんですお引き取りくださいいやもう少しお話を天馬に関してお話しすることはないと私天馬の件でこちらに伺ったのではありませんえ何しろ天馬の脱走のニュースを聞いたのはこちらに伺う道すがらですからねじゃああなたは一体何をですからこの絵本この絵本の作家のことが無償に知りたくなったんですただこの作家いくつもペンネームがありましてその中でもクラウス・ポッペという名だけがドイツ名なので気になって調べてみるうちにポッペと付き合いのあるある人物が浮かんできたのですある人物あなたの父上ですおおあなたの父上のラジオ局で放送されていた「世界の童話」という番組がありましたね。記録によると66年8月にポッペの作品「僕はどこに」が放送されているんです。あなたの父上の後半記録も見させていただきました。西ドイツ中を震撼させた戦後最大のスパイ疑惑事件。だから何なんですかええ
あなたの父上は何度もチェコスロバキアに入国しています。Oh, really? 単なる絵本作家との打ち合わせですから、検察も何の指摘もしていない。何が言いたいんですかい,いえ、ですからあなたの父上はこの絵本作家と窮地の間柄ではなかったんかと。仕事柄、父の交友関係は広かった。番組の打ち合わせ程度であった人間など数えきれない。彼とはそれほど親密ではなかったとおっしゃる。ところが調べてみますと、普段クラウス・ポッペの打ち合わせは担当編集者宅か、ポッペが別荘にしていたチェコ郊外の古い農家で行われていた。だがこの時の打ち合わせは、ある屋敷で行われています。The Rose Mansion! イバラの屋敷と呼ばれていましてね。クラウス・ポッペ名義では、この屋敷は一度も使われていないんですよ。この屋敷を使っていた時、彼はこう名乗っていたんですフランツ・ボナパルト彼はとても重要なポストの人間だったんですチェコスロバキア秘密警察のねヨー何が So his father was a spy! The hell? So he's fine. Yo, that's I sound like they're saying Spider Man. <laughs> フランツ・ボナパルタという人物のことが知りたいだけなんです。That's crazy! あなたの父上は絵本作家のクラウス・ポッペとある屋敷で会っていますね。66年のチェコスロバキアで。絵本作家とラジオ局の経営者。ただそれだけの関係だ。彼がクラウス・ポッペと名乗っていたときは、赤いバラの屋敷は一度も使われていないんですよ。何が言いたいんだ赤いバラの屋敷で父上との打ち合わせが行われたということは彼はクラウス・ポッペとして会ったのではなくフランツ・ボナパルタとして会っていたということなんですチェコスロバキア秘密警察の重要なポストの人間としてねそんなのは言いがかりだ私はあなたの父上がスパイだったかどうかなどということに関心はありません父はスパイなんかじゃないあなたの父上はフランツ・ボナパルタが本当は何者なのか。I mean, if he knew who it was really was, and he's meeting with him. 父上は赤いバラの屋敷で何が行われていたかご存知だったんじゃないですか。違う違う父は無実だ。違う違う何か話す気になられたらご連絡ください。何度も言うように、あなたの父上がスパイだったかどうかなど、私は興味ありません。私が知りたいのは。フランツ・ボナパルタという人物に関することだけなんです。Yo! That's crazy! That's crazy! バーデマンさん、奥様からお電話が。どうかなさったんですかいや。You can't imagine! あの。Your whole life, you believe in that somebody is close to you. You think they are this person, and then it turns out whatever he was accused of is true? Ah, man, that would murder me, bruh. Oh. 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 Oh.
エヴァ・ハイネマンはどこだ何の話だエヴァ・ハイネマンが一体どうしたとトムケンだお前たちがやろうとしていることは分かっているんだ私たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっているんだ。お前たちは分かっていだ。お前たエヴァをどこへやったすべて私がヨハンの命を救ったことから始まったあれから何人もの命が奪われた何人も何人ももうたくさんだこれ以上犠牲者が出るなんて車を止めるな本当か車を出せと言ってるんだ今言ったことは本当か本当なのか信じていいのか私の父はスパイの容疑をかけられてね後に冤罪が立証されたが本当はスパイだったんだよ That、reality, bro. No, 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 何が放送会の長寿だ分かってるよこの誰も信じない男を捕まえる<笑>だって私は本当にスパイの息子だったんだから That is some crazy awakening right there, bro 60年代に父がつけていたあのメモを見つけたとあれに記されていたページをめくるたび、父を信じてやってきた私のすべてが崩れていた。父は間違いなくスパイだった。I mean, he was meeting with a spy. 解読不可能な暗号が羅列され、チェコスロバキア秘密警察とのたび重なる連絡の記録。父が接触した謎の人物たち、フランツ・ボナパルタをはじめ、赤いバラの屋敷のこともそこになぜ君が知っているんだそうだったのかおそらくそのメモが欲しくてあのバウルと名乗る男はあなたに近づいたんだそのメモは今どこに私の自宅にやつの目的はあなたのお父さんのメモ。君に宛てた手紙だ。君がここへ来ることをやつは予測していたのか。助けてけんぞ。助けてけんぞ。赤いバラの屋敷へ早く来て。エヴァは無事ということか。セーフ。シプラビウェルサイコー。やつは私をもてあそんで。ボア、レミテリア。無事だ。古いレコードの山の中、虹の彼方に。これがそのメモだ。持って行ってくれ。でも、それが他人の手に渡ったら、あなたのお父さんは。私にはもう必要ない
信じてもいいか<笑>君が話してくれたこと君が今からやろうとしていること今の私は何もしてやれないが君を信じてもいいかドクターテンマこんなものを振り回す人間はあまり信じない方がいい Things are getting juicy, fellas. But still very mysterious. <laughs> Things are getting justerious? That was a stupid joke. <laughs> End of episode. Yes, yes. Wakaru koto mi sumete. Yeah, we're not gonna do that tonight. <laughs> Stupid on camera. <laughs> see, see you guys for the next one. I'm really bummed about it, bro. Uh, for real, bro. Six Bonaparte to first meeting. RF-779. Very strong man. どこまで行きたいんだ国境までどこのチェコなんですが乗りなありがとう午後子供たち集まり朗読会とても奇妙な屋敷赤いバラの屋敷ペーブジェブノフペー左に戦闘、右に風見取り。人間の尊厳、実験、素晴らしい実験、尊厳の剥奪。あんたどこの人間だい<笑>国はどこだって聞いてんだいあ,あ、日本人です。日本人の口に合うかどうかわからねえが。食いな、昼飯の残り物だけどよ。ありがとう。でも。食えって。今にもぶっ倒れそうな顔してるぜ<笑>女房がよダイエットしろってうるせんだじゃあ遠慮なくああ食え食え食わなきゃ長旅は持たねえぞ<音声>もう終わらせなきゃいけないんです Now you made me want burger I haven't had a burger in such a long time Cause I can't eat that stuff Anymore, <laughs> nice good burger would hit the spot right now, too. Ooh. Ooh. to having my water right here and I don't know what happened to my water I had a full bottle of water right here it just disappeared
enterthegame.com. <laughs> People just be putting random stuff on the. Promoting their stuff on videos that they don't own. なんだって。いかせたって。天馬をそのまま生かせたのか。ええ。なぜ引き止められる人間じゃないことは そのバウトなのを弁護し、おそらく新業所で私の命を狙った男と同一人物だ。彼の狙いは私に近づき、父のメモを手に入れることだった。そのメモ、よほど重要なものらしいな。そろそろ行きます。どこへ？天馬の向
this is crazy because you don't really know what's really the trauma. I think that's where a lot of right same thing that was described so that she's at the, the the mansion so has she been to the mansion she's describing exactly yeah she's at the mansion Bruh. Did they used to live here? Or I don't know what's going on, bro. She apparently knows all about this stuff, but she doesn't remember all of it, apparently. And I also think that trauma... I think trauma is one of those things that really play a big part in this in this anime here and this story is trauma because everybody has just been through so much and it's just a lot of people just living out certain things from their past mr grimmer johan it's it, it's just the trauma that shapes people i guess that i feel like this anime is about another one of the underlying you know bits beneath the surface it's just how people deal with their trauma and stuff like that what is she remembering was she there for the massacre when all the people died in that room Oi! Were they poisoned? Symbolism in this show is was this a flashback or something? Keep him That's gotta be Nina and Johan's mama. Yeah, I got us dumb or is this present day? Oh, it is present. I was thinking that it's back in there because I know the mom looks literally just like how Nina looks. I thought this was a flashback for a second. Yeah, リプスキーさん。聞きたいことがあるの。なんだい。3 why were you there? Ano yashiki ni ikutone. Sosaku no imagei ga wakunda. Nante yuka. Sono. Demo ima wa ano yashiki yori mo. 
いやいいんだとにかく遠慮しないでずっとここにいていいからあのマンあのマンあのマンあのマンあのマンもちろんだよ。起きて大丈夫なのええ。すごい。この部屋で人形が生まれるのね。お客さんは全然いないんだけどね。どんな話なの悪魔の話なんだ。どうしたのニナ Konoyo, Horobos, Ryu, Sagashini, Tabini, the Takumanga, Totu de Shinikakirunda Kedo, Soponi Torikakata Senenga, Sono Inochio, Tasketishima Tasketa, I can show Tayo Shita Senenwa, Akumano, Ato Soste, Tabino, Hateni, Akumao, Sanashidashi, Knife or Tenny, Akumao, Korosunda. 面白いと思うんだけど全然受けなくて<笑>大丈夫ニーナ私ならそうすると思う私ならそうするでもあの人にそんなことさせちゃいけないニーナ人間だったらその悪魔を救うわそうかな彼ならこの話気に入ってくれると思うんだけど彼この本だな全て絵本だよヤコブ・ファロベッククラウス・ポッペエミル・シェーベ名前のない怪物よく知ってるね彼はたくさんの絵本を書いたヤコブ・ファロベッククラウス・ポッペエミルシェーベすべて同じ人物のペンネームなんだ。Yes! フランツ・ボナパルタ。ボナパルタ。フランツ・ボナパルタ。人間はね、何にだってなれるんだよ。僕は優秀な子供じゃなかったから、朗読会から追い出された。朗読会彼の朗読会が赤いバラの屋敷で行われていたんだ僕はそこの生徒だったああ分かったんだ彼が何をしようとしていたのか取引だ取引をしよう悪魔が言いました嫌だ絶対嫌だ目の大きな人が言いましたいいよ取引しよう口の大きな人が言いました口の大きな人の庭は花園になりました。目の大きな人は貧しくて貧しくてお腹が空いて仕方ありません。口の大きな人は毎日楽しくて楽しくて仕方ありません。実った果物でお腹がいっぱい。だから気づきませんでした。花園が枯れていることに。二度と花の咲くことのないお庭で。口の大きな人はおいおいと泣きながらつぶやきました悪魔と取引なんかしなければよかった目の大きな人はお腹が空いて空いて死にそうですボロボロ涙をこぼしながらつぶやきました悪魔と取引すればよかった取引だ取引しよう悪魔が言いましたヤコブ・ファロベック作目の大きな人口の大きな人僕らは金曜日の午後3時になると朗読会に集まった僕らは彼の周りに座り
彼の朗読に耳を傾ける優しい声でとても穏やかな優しい声でそして一つ話を読み終えると彼は僕らにこう尋ねるんだこの話の意味わかるわねわわかるわ僕も何度も読んで分かったよすると彼は次の絵本を手に取りクラウス・ポッペ作「平和の神様」じゃあ次はこれを読んでみよう This is nutty That book is very It's a very powerful story you just told Short amount of time ずいぶん時間がかかったけどすべての記憶がつながった Why are you here? 平和の神様は大忙し鏡を見る暇もなく毎日ラッパを吹きます平和の神様のラッパはみんなを幸せにします平和の神様は大忙し鏡を見る暇もなく不思議な水をまきます不思議な水は緑の山を作り畑を実らせお花畑を作ります平和の神様は大忙し鏡を見る暇もなくみんなに名前をつけます君の名前はオット君の名前はハンス君の名前はトマス君の名前はヨハンヨハンはお礼に帽子を神様にあげました神様は大喜びその帽子をかぶった自分が見たくて初めて鏡の前に立ちましたでも鏡に映ったのは悪魔だったのです悪魔が言いました君は僕僕は君どうしようこの悪魔がいたらみんなが平和に暮らせないどうしようどうしよう困った神様はどうしたかわかる No, you didn't finish. I know. You know. You know. What did you do after that? I know. You finally met. Just now. Come back. Come back. Our father. Right. We already knew that that was his mom's, but... あの子は僕で僕はあの子君は僕で僕は君すべてが分かったよ僕らがどこから来てどこへ行くのか外はいい天気ですよ母さん This man is going to burn it down. わかること娘で Yes あの
I honestly do not know what to say right now. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. I do not know what to say because, as I said, this show is the most cryptic. <laughs> I mean, when you're talking about writing a masterpiece of putting pieces together and pulling them apart at the same time is actually a thing in monster <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it's like what do you really how do you really feel about johan you know what i'm saying like what is what is his direction we know he kills people we know that we know he kills people for sure for sure but what the biggest mystery in the show right now is nina what is going on with Nina? Why are all these memories so traumatizing for her? And I think at the end of the episode, she kind of comes to terms with what she did to Johan. And I don't know if she's comparing, because it's like the guy's just kind of just reading the books or whatever. And she's just looking at the books as all these events that has happened. Is the is the books that was, was written by Franz Bonaparte, right? I'm wondering if I'm wondering if all these books is the story of what we're watching right now. You get what I'm saying? As if this guy was potentially predicting the future or or it can't be that Johan is Franz. I don't see that. Because if Johan was Franz, he he would look a lot older. You know what I'm saying? I think he would be a lot older if he was Franz. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I can't really put a finger on it to say what exactly is going on in this anime. That's just how I feel about it right now. Like, you know, I think, as I said during the episode, I think one of the underlying themes of the anime is how people deal with trauma and what trauma can lead you to do if it's not tempered you know what i'm saying so um i don't know i could be just off base with that theory of you know what this anime is all about as i said i will be doing a a, um, a series review when it's done an in-depth look at what monster is and the topics that they touch on and the little little things that they did that was very unique and first time me seeing um monster you know just my experience with it and all so the other day somebody commented in the comment section talking about death note and i was like monster even though i love death note monster makes death note look like a kid a child a child's play it is the writing literally makes death note look like you're you know like you're um you're watching just does this story unfold so it's such a deep story but it's such a deep story but they keep you on the surface if you understand what i'm saying about this kind of this kind of writing there's double meanings there's uh, there's double entendres for you to figure out what they're saying to you and what they're not saying to you and and a lot of that when it comes on to, to to the writing in the show and from what i'm not i still don't know i still couldn't sit down here 50 something episodes deep i cannot tell you what this what this anime is about <laughs> i can theorize but i still don't know and we got like 20 episodes left 18 now that i've done two more you know and i can't properly like have a conversation about what this is about most shows you would have already known what is going on and and the potential of what could happen at this moment in time here sitting now after watching episode 56 of monster i literally can't tell you what the end game is i can theorize as to what the end game is but I, I don't know, is there really a bad guy or a good guy? Is there really a monster here? 
is Nina the real monster? You know what I'm saying? There's just so many different themes and certain things. And as I said, I think one of the biggest things that is underlying in this anime is the way how people deal with trauma and all the new characters. You see them go through some length of trauma. Lawyer guy finding out that his father was actually a spy. He knew that from a long time ago, but he's been living in denial this entire time because I don't know if he was living in denial or he just decided to just carry on since he found out. He was like, let me just finish law school. I'm smart enough to do it. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and just, but since Lungi came in and kind of brought a dose of reality to him and he's like, I'm not here to talk about your daddy being a spy or not. I don't, I could give two shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Lungi kind of brought back all of those memories and it's probably why he has this song that, that his father used to play on the radio because that's how he's dealing with the trauma of it all of knowing that his dad was a spy and you know preferably to remember his dad in a bright way you know what i'm saying in a good way that's his way of coping with it because to remember his father as a good person and the one that was on the radio making other people smile and all this other stuff like that's what he wants to remember so when this dose of reality comes in now you know him knowing this it's just it's the cherry on top but maybe that's why he snapped maybe that's why he snapped in a couple episodes i think it was a couple episodes ago we were just getting introduced to him and i was wondering why did he act like that because somebody else was listening was had had it playing you get what i'm saying i don't remember who it was was it who was he talking to was it what is it I think it was his wife, right? Was was it his wife? I'm trying to remember who it was, and he kind of snapped at him a certain way. So that's what I'm saying. When when it comes on to trauma, I think that's what that is what are one of the underlying things, meanings in this anime, and what it is trying to tackle. But at the same time, you know, it could be something totally different from that. And that's just how this anime is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm enjoying this very much. So just going through the bits and pieces of what this anime could or what it could not be. You know what I'm saying? Um, why does Johan need to uh, need to go back and destroy so many things about his past? I don't know. Is he trying to erase his existence? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And as I'm sitting here, this is the first time that I've actually noticed that this is actually the first time that I've actually noticed that there is a face. If you on this poster here, um, <laughs> there's a face literally above my head up there over the title of this background that I chose. This is the first time I've actually noticed that there's a face there in this picture. Like, it's the first time I'm noticing that. But there were some interesting other picture books that Franz Bonaparte <laughs> has written, right? There's some interesting books there. Some ones that the guy read out loud. Very, some deeper meanings behind, you know, what is it, the big mouth guy and the big eyes guy. Basically, in two different situations one have two different situations but have the same regret basically you get what i'm saying um basically having the same regret and it's and and, and it just like one is saying i shouldn't have made the deal one is saying i should have made the deal not knowing the trauma that's going to come after you make the deal you get what i'm saying so basically ending up in the same place this is a very deep story so man awesome two episodes right um can't say enough about this anime man can't say enough hope you guys enjoyed the reaction as always i'm gonna try to get two more episodes before the end of the week out to you guys um if you are sitting down and waiting on slam dunk slam dunk will be out 
on Wednesday. Okay, we out on Wednesday. If you are watching this on Tuesday night, you will know that Slam Dunk will be out. I'm not in. <laughs> I should probably put out a community post about it, <laughs> but whatever. I'll see you guys next time for some more Monster Man. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to try to get some episodes out on early access as well. So if you guys are over there waiting, I appreciate you guys, man. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.